All right. Uh, good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, guys. Uh, good afternoon, reporters. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I just finished. I just finished the link for the uh, our live. So, okay. Thank you for waiting. And so, for today's discussion, we're going to discuss the chapter five. Well, it's lesson four in the book that uh, we the the, the ref uh, in our reference book understanding guest service okay to be reported by our uh, group ano group, uh, group uh, four. four discussing uh, headed by miss uh, Cyrilene Lavendia So, wait lang natin yung uh, inyong mga classmates. And good afternoon, guys. Good afternoon to everyone. Okay, so before we start, I'm going to send the, the link for your attendance. Please wait in a while. So, uh, reporters, hindi nyo na kailangan mag-fill out ng uh, attendance nyo because uh, nakikita ko naman kayo dito. And this link that I will be sending to uh, in our uh, chat box sa uh, ating live. Okay. So, please fill out the form and we're going to start in a few minutes. Okay. Wait lang natin. So, ready na ba ang ating mga reporters, Ms. Uh, Lavendia? Sir, kulang pa po kami ng isa. Wala pa po si Colina. Colina. Okay, sige. Uh, well, uh, kailangan na natin mag-start. And I just hope na makahawal siya in time for his uh, term. Okay? So, again, uh, once again, please welcome the group number four to be discussed, chapter five, Understanding Guest Service. Ms. Lavendia, please do the honors. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. I am Cyrilin Lavenza, one of the reporter and also the leader of group four. Our assigned topic is about hospital. Wait lang guys, nawala sila. One moment guys. Ay, hindi po. Wait, uh, one moment Miss uh, Lavendia. Okay. Thank you. Okay po, sir. So, introduction. The hospitality industry is an important component of tourism industry. The hospitality industry is an exclusive term for hotels and food establishments. It is a part of broader service industry where people create service experience with specific skills to generate revenue. The service industry places the customers as the central focus as against the machines in the industrial age. People include both internal people who generate the service 
and the external people who are the customers, suppliers, government officials, media people, and etc. Service is a performance. So kaya po nasabing hospitality industry is an important component of tourism industry po. Kasi po, di ba, parang connected po sila sa isa't isa. Pansin ko po kasi, karamihan po ng mga tourist attractions or spots po is meron din po mga katabing hotels and establishments. Hindi lang naman po here in the Philippines, meron din po sa iba't ibang lugar or iba't ibang bansa po. So yun po yung reason why connected po yung dalawang yun. And yung tourist po kasi, di ba, hindi lang naman po sila napunta sa isang lugar just because of their tourist attractions. Yung iba po, napunta din po sila sa lugar na yon because of their, maybe because of their famous cuisines and delicacies. For example po, is yung Boracay. Isa po siya sa pinakasikat na tourist attraction here in the Philippines po. And pansin po natin, marami din naman po mga hotels na nakatayo around that place po. So kaya din po nasabing, part ng broader service industry po yung hospitality industry kasi po di ba yung hospitality industry po kasi ang focus niya po is yung mag-provide ng foods, drinks and accommodations to those people who are away from their home which is an act of service po and yung service po kasi ang main focus niya po is yung mag mag-provide po ng good service to other people so doon din po papasok yung internal people. Sila po yung mga nag-generate ng service like yung mga staff po and yung mga business owners. And yung external people naman po, sila po yung mga customers, suppliers, government officials, and media people po. So, to discuss the next slide po, we have Ms. Jobelin Ferres po. Difference between services and physical products. Products are objects or system made available for consumer use while services are transaction where no physical goods are transferred from the, buy from the seller to the buyer. We all need different products and services to satisfy our needs and wants. One thing to keep in mind is that products and services are closely aligned. But let's focus more on services first. Next slide po. Services. A total experience that a customer gets from the performance of the people serving when satisfying a need are intangible. The time period of the transaction in service happens very short. The server is face-to-face -face with the customer when she demands the product. It is largely based on reputation and word of mouth publicity. Service cannot be stored. Services are expensive. So when we say services, it's something that is referred to intangible or mga bagay na hindi natin nahawakan. Example is yung skills which is na transferable, yung ownership. Example po sa ISPA, ang binabayaran doon is yung service. Kasi hindi naman po pwede na paglabas mo ng ispa is marunong ka na rin po manghilot. Unlike sa physical product na once you buy, once you buy it, pwede mo na siyang dalhin kahit saan. Ang sa oras naman ng pag-consume ng services is limited lang po siya. Example, pumunta ka po sa ispa and ang binayaran mo is yung service nila for 2 hours. Kaya siya naging limited kasi may oras lang yung pag-interact mo sa service. And services cannot be stored. Like what, like what I've said kanina, hindi mo siya pwedeng itabi or itago because hindi nga siya nahawakan. Services are expensive. It is given na mahal ang services kasi skills yung pinag-uusapan. Unlike sa physical product na merong basihan yung pagpresyo. Dahil sa mga materials na ginamit dito and yung capital as well as yung cost sa pag-transfer ng, ng product into another place. Ang intangible means po incapable of being touched, having no physical existence. There are five sense of services and this will be discussed by Ms. Julian Antino. Server statues are the senses of discerning customer. They are five senses. First sense of sight. 
instance of sight, uh, which as a future hospitality workers need to be look presentable in the eyes of our customer or guest. We need to need and clean and also to look attractive. Need po natin magmukhang professional because harap po tayo in the different side of people. And next po, sense of smell. In a restaurant, the smell of food is important. Appetizing smell creating hunger and what? For example, di ba while you are walking in the street and suddenly naamoy mo yung checking gear sa Jollibee, di ba po ang bango ay nakakagutom. So it's triggered to customer para mag-avail sila sa restaurant mo. And next po, sense of city. Sense of feeling. As a hospitality workers, we most know the things that our customer or guest should not hear and the things that they should hear. Nice air conditioner. Service staff fighting among, among themselves is an example of the things that obsolete na ayaw nila marinig. So those things naman po na gusto nila marinig is like compliments. Soft music, well nakakain po sila, di ba? Or yung use of their name or kahit paggamit na lang po ng Miss and Mr. or maybe Madam. And next po, sense of taste. Sense of taste is most applicable in food and beverage industry. Yeah. The taste the taste of food is uh, equal to the customer experience. Taste of food is also served as a distinctive signature to cross and offer by establishment. Po. And next, sense of touch. The touch of hot food and cold dessert also create the experience. For example, po, di ba po sa mga inasal, di ba po pag nag-serve sila ng sisig doon, halos nausok po, di ba? So it give him a unique experience para sa customer natin. And also, yung sinasabi ko kanina na distinctive, distinctive signature sa establishment or sa restaurant po. That's it po. The next reporter will be Ms. Padeo. Okay, before we proceed, I just hope na nakakasabay ang ating mga students. So, uh, based on how I perceive it and how I heard it, na-explain naman po ng maayos ng ating mga reporters the difference uh, the difference between the physical product and the service product. Okay? So again, services po ay intangible, hindi po siya nahawakan. Just like uh, what uh, sino yung nagsabi, yung nag-example ng spa? Ako po, sir. Si Ms. Perez. Ayan. So, it doesn't mean that if you go to a spa and have a massage, after your massage, meron ako na rin mag-massage, mag, mag okay? So, it's intangible, alright? It cannot be stored and are very expensive. Kasi, syempre, pinag-aralan nila yung services na yun na, na binibigay nila sa atin. So, it's very expensive because it's... Um, meron yung uh, meron siyang uh, human intervention and or may human approach or human touch siyang uh, ginaga right so please proceed uh, so uh, another is the uh, services touches all the senses of a discerning customer so lahat yan okay ginagamit natin yan para uh, uh, to appreciate or to consume these uh, services, sense of sight, smell, hearing, taste, and touch. Okay? Next, uh, reporter, please. So, a pleasant afternoon to all. Physical product, an identified product, and its packaging as shipped or delivered to customers, including labeling, images, inserts, bottling, and any packaging or materials that accompany the identified product and contain or reflect communications. Our merchandise, apparel, and other physical goods you sell and ship to customers. They are tangible. You can sell a physical product as a one-time purchase or subscription. Can be durable goods and non-durable goods. Meron po tayong need to produce physical products. First is manpower. A power available from or supplied by the physical effort of human being. Sila po yung mga nagagawa or tagagawa ng mga products. The second, second is raw materials. Are the input goods or inventory that the company needs to manufacture its product. Ito naman po yung mga bagay na 
tinatapon pero may halaga at pwede pa din po natin gamitin. And the third, capit capital. Capital po is yung pera na gagamitin para dun sa mga raw materials na gagawin mo sa pag-produce ng physical products. Fourth, is land. Has a, has a broad definition as a factor or production and can take on various forms. From agricultural land to commercial real estate to the resources available from a particular piece of land. Natural resources such as oil and such as oil and gold can be extracted and refined from human consumption for from the land. The last po is machineries. It is a sub subsector of the industry that produces and maintains machines for customers the industry and the industry and most other companies in the economy dito po mas kapal industry industry and the most companies in the economy dito po mas napapadali or napapabilis yung mga kailangan nating gawin may kita din po natin ito sa mga factories sa physical products po meron din po tayong durable goods and non durable goods Example po ng durable goods are cars, furniture, and computers. Pag sinabi naman pong non-durable, halimbawa po nito are foods and beverages. Yun lang po. So let's proceed to our next reporter, Ms. Alina Bisedo. Understanding customers' needs and wants. Next. Needs are essential to human well-being. This includes to human survival such as food, water, clothing, and shelter at the basic level. These, these that are essential for sur social survival such as love, security, family, etc. at the higher level is something that necessary for an organism to live a healthy life. Ang example dito is yung minanggit ko kanina yung mga human survival. In the case of a need, a deficiency causes a clear adverse outcome, a dysfunction or death. In the other words, a need is something required for a safe, stable, and healthy life. Next. Wants are the cultural manifestation of those needs. Wants are desires for goods and services we would like to, to have but do not need. For the example are beauty products, cable or satellite TV, subscription, fancy food, smartphone, etc. Difference between needs and wants. Needs essential for survival. Wants not essential for survival. Needs do not change over time. Wants change over time. Needs. I must have things I need to live and survive. Once I desire to have things I would like to have but do not need to live and survive. For the next reporter, we have here Ms. Camila Sika. She will discuss about the Maslow's need hierarchy. Okay, so before we proceed to the next reporter, Sige, uh, can you give uh, things that uh, we need uh, examples ng uh, needs natin. Reporters? Ano po yun? Food and water. Okay. Shelter. 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 Okay. What else? Sex. Sex. Pwede. Kasi hindi tayo magre-reproduce kapag wala tayo nun. That's correct. Another. Clothes, foods, okay. What else? Love. Love, Love of course. Air. Care, companionship, utilities. Okay. What else? 
pera. Money. Siyempre, wala ka pong bibili ng food pag wala kang pera. How about, uh, okay. Alright. Okay, don't, don't be, uh, don't get offended or don't get the, parang, um, yung reaction nyo when you, sino nagsabi ng sex kanina? Mr. Degit, ikaw ba yun? Yes, po ako po. <laughs> Mr. Degit, pagkahalata ka, Mr. Degit, ha? The joke lang. <laughs> Okay, so that's true. Kailangan natin yun kasi uh, hindi hindi naman eh, mga I, I, I assume na medyo uh, should I say mga uh, <laughs> ano na kayo mga legal age na kayo mga f- uh, 18 and above so <laughs> may mga <laughs> May mga uh, oh, na hindi pa nakakaranas. Pero that that's one of... Hindi na bata. Diyos ko, kahit nga mga 13 years old eh. <laughs> Alam na yan eh. Kaya that's why, one of the reasons why dahil ba may, may sex education nga din tayo ang tinatawag. Diba? So we have to educate these young people you know, how to handle this uh, this topic. Okay? Most especially kayo, mga uh, college students na kayo. Okay. Uh, yes, sir? Okay. Ayan. So, we need sex to reproduce. Okay? Yun lang yun, basically. Okay? Talaga ba? Ito ka nga. Okay. So, what else? Uh, how about once? Ano yung mga bagay na uh, k- gusto lang natin, pero hindi naman k- kinakailangan? Can you give me a Jewelry. Luxuries. Luxuries. Beauty products. Hindi naman kailangan. Mabubuhay ka naman ng ano eh, nang wala kang kolorete sa mukha. Diba? Diba? Ano pa? Sir, yung mga latest na labas ng points. Si Mr. Kuli. Ano daw? Magazine po. A magazines. O mga mga uh, uh, books na hindi naman kailangan kailangan. Okay? Sabi ni Mr. Kuli na ako kasi inosente pa. Ah, Mr. Kuli na. Eh, Mr. Kuli na talaga ba? Okay, sige. Ano pa? Sige. Okay, how? Mr. Ano daw? Oh, shucks. Wala ako. Wala ba ako? Oh. oh, sorry guys. Nawala yung ano natin. One more thing, guys. Hinga mo na yun. Sabi mo, Joe. Ay, nasa siya rin. Sana ay binabalik ang Avengers. <laughs> sinong iniwan? At sinong binaligat? Sir, nakamute po kayo. Wait lang, one moment. Uh... Nawala kasi yung... Sorry. One moment, guys. Yeah. I'm going to see if I'm going to go. Ayo, makisama. So, sinong iniwan at sinong binalikan? Ikaw daw, sir, yun ang iwan. Ako, sir, ah. iniwan. <laughs> Bigla-bigla ka daw, sir, nalis, di ka nagpapaalam. Saglit lang. Aba, kalmahan nyo. Kalmahan daw. <laughs> okay. Sige. Sana all madami ka dyan. Ang dami nyo alam. Ayan, alak. Oh, it's, uh, but let's go back to the topic. Okay? So, needs. Yan. 
car. Ayan. Kung, uh, well, it depends on um, uh, your need in particular. Okay? If you need it for, for uh, your business, okay? Hindi na siya luxury sometimes. Okay? How about your uh, cell phone? Is it a need or a want? Want. Once. 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 So, once. Once. Depende, sir. Depende, sir. Depende sa situation. Depende kung sino ka-chat at sino ka-tawagan. Opo. For example, sir, sa studies, sir. Ano siya, sir? Once and needs kasi siya, sir. Tagay na natin yan, sir. Ang nasa ngayon, moderna na. Yes. Okay, so before, it's once. Okay? Parang luxury ang cellphone. But nowadays, especially... Ayan, online classes and as a form of communication, need na siya. Okay? Kasi paano mo nga naman, uh, how will you contact one person if uh, wala siyang device or any uh, form of communication? So, but sometimes kasi nagiging uh, luxury na rin yung, ano, yung, yung mobile phone. Okay? Hindi mo naman kailangan ng magarang cellphone eh, or mamahaling cellphone eh, diba? Sino nag-iayon ng Tagayan? Huwag niyo akong hinahamon sa Tagayan ha? baka <laughs> baka tumumba kayo <laughs> joke lang. Ayan Okay, so ganyan lang let's just differentiate the difference between the needs and the wants So, the next reporter will discuss the Maslow's need hierarchy okay, So, si ano ba yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga kailangan natin sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay. Okay? Reporters, please. Sir, naririnig po. Yes, I can hear you. I suppose they can hear you too. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Ay, so, sumisigan pala of... ito. <laughs> okay, sige. <laughs> okay. So, first of all, um, I would like to introduce my to you. I am Ms. Carmela Sikan from group number 4 and as you can see on the presentation, I am going to discuss the topic uh, Maslow's need hierarchy. So I think um, all of us here is somehow familiar na sa topic na to. And I think um, meron na rin tayong initial information regarding this kasi natuturo na to in other courses or subjects and for sure ng senior high school tayo. So kung wala naman tayong idea, um, don't worry guys kasi today we are going to have a deep discussion about uh, Maslow's need hierarchy and its relation in understanding guest service in hospitality industry. So, pwede pa ako ng slide. Yan. So, first, um, let us discuss what does uh, Maslow's need hierarchy is all about. So, when we say uh, Maslow's need hierarchy, it is a motivational theory in psychology na inire-represent through a pyramid. And ito pong pyramid na to is um, consisting of five tire models. So, pag sinabi natin... Um, Five tire models, it is pertaining to the stages or levels that um, we as a human need to take or um, fulfill para maabot or ma-achieve natin yung highest level dun sa pyramid which is yung uh, self-actualization. So self-actualization for us as a um, hospitality, future hospitality workers na mga magtatrabaho sa cruise ships, sa restaurant or hotels, um, need natin na maintindihan tong theory of needs para maibigay natin yung mga maintindihan at maibigay natin yung mga pangangailangan ng guests and customers. So, sa madaling salita, pag sinabi pong um, Maslow's need hierarchy, um, it is all about fulfilling human innate needs or yung mga natural or inborn na pangangailangan natin bilang tao. The next one is uh, Maslow's need hierarchy po is ipinropose po ni Abraham Maslow in his 1943 article entitled A Theory of Human Motivation. So si um, Abraham Maslow po was an American psychologist na nakidala sa theory niya nito. So next po is yung um, core concept ni Abraham Maslow sa pagpropose niya ng Maslow's need hierarchy. Wait, sorry naman. So, number one po, um, all human have needs. So, um, like what I've said, ay, kagaya po nung sinabi ng reporter kanina, 
um, in life, there are basic human needs for, for our survival or sa pang araw-araw na So, it includes yung food and water, yung sufficient rest, yung clothing and shelter, and even nga po yung um, sex for our reproduction para uh, maipagpatuloy natin yung ating um, generation and yung culture natin. Number two, um, these needs can be collated into five broad categories. So, kagaya ng sabi ko din kanina, sir, um, yung pyramid is consisting of um, five tire models. And number one po dito is yung sociological needs. Number two, security or safety. Number three, love or belonging. Number four, status and self-esteem. And lastly po is yung self-actualization. So, later on, um, i-discuss po natin siya isa-isa. But for now, yung number three po is um, these categories po have an ascending hierarchical order. So, pag narinig natin yung salitang um, hierarchy, um, unang pumapasok sa isip natin is yung level, di ba? Yung mga katayuan, ganyan. So, hierarchical order po is a systematic order supposing the existence of higher and lower, lower levels of reality. So, ito po ay constructed from bottom as pinaka lowest and to the top as the highest. Number four, um, all needs for lower category must be satisfied to allow the person to move to the needs of higher category. So, ayun nga po, uh, makakaproceed lang tayo into the next level of um, of, of the needs if matake or mapulpil na natin yung lower level nung nandun sa pyramid. So, since Maslow's need hierarchy is dealing with human needs and also us na future um, hospitality workers, um, we need to un- really understand this um, theory for us to be able to give them their um, desired good service quality and um, mafulfill natin yung satisfaction or mahigitan natin yung expectation nila sa mga services or products na i-offer natin sa kanila. So that is all my report. Thank you for listening. And the next topic will be the continuation of Maslow's need hierarchy to be reported by Mr. John Paul Begg. Uh, again, uh, good afternoon po to everyone. Uh, Maslow, hierarchy of needs. So, sir, hierarchy of needs. Sorry, sir. <laughs> so, Maslow need hierarchy. As stated by the reporter before me, according to Maslow need hierarchy, all human beings have needs, no? Katulad nga ng sinabi kanina, yung pag sinabing needs, yan yung mga bagay na essential and is unchangeable even though time goes by, hindi sila nagbabago at yun at yun pa rin. This idea of Abraham Maslow is universal, meaning to say, pangkalhatan not just for a specific individual or person, but for everybody. The needs can be classified into five categories, and as we see in the pyramid, those five is hierarchically ordered, no? Katulad ng sinabi kanina, when we say hierarchically, it is uh, uh, le- uh, orders with level, no? From the lowest to the highest. And ito nga po yung mga kabilang nun, which is uh, psychology, uh, sociological, safety and security, love, belonging, status and self-esteem, and self-actualization. But uh, before we proceed to the other topics of Maslow need hierarchy, I want to all of you to keep in mind that all of these five, ito pong lahat na itong lima nakikita natin, no, is connected or related to each other. Therefore, in order for us to use the whole Maslow and hierarchy, in order for us to be fully satisfied, we need to experience and attain each of these needs from the first one to the last one. So, hindi po tayo pwede mag-jump no, sa susunod agad na level without attaining or experiencing the other one. Dahil nga po, connected sila at May, uh, may relationship sila sa isa't isa para mag-work together at masatisfied ang human need. No, and uh, in addition, no, uh, we will also discuss the the relationship or how how Maslow need hierarchy help uh, help when it comes to understanding guest service and in the field of hospitality management. So next slide po. So the first category or level is physiological needs. Our basic needs for survival such as food, 
water, clothing, and yes, even sex, no, as mentioned before. So this level of human needs is the lowest and most basic. No? Napaka-common po yan sa ating lahat. Alam na alam natin yan. But yet, it is very, very important. And these are the most essential things a person needs to survive. No? Pa- kung baga, uh, even the day we came out of our mother's womb until we finally grow old, no, we need all of this. No, There is no exemption. Uh, bata ka man, matanda ka man, or you are young people, uh, we need all of this in order to survive. We need food to survive, water, clothes, shelter, and sex. No? And, and dahil nga common tong mga needs po na to, uh, I will give uh, some example no? for, for us to be, uh, para mas maano pa natin, mas ma-realize pa natin how important uh, these needs are. So here's, here's my example. No? My first example is when it comes to food. For example, if there's a massive famine here in Philippines, no, many will starve to death. So pag sinabi pong massive famine, yan po yung uh, malaking tagutom. At tayo dito sa Pilipinas, uh, kung mapapansin po natin, uh, almost everywhere, may makikita po tayong mga street children, meron at meron pa rin mga family na andyan sa lansangan. At ang, kar- ang karamihan nga ang kinamamatay nila is yung gutom. So doon pa lang may kita natin na gano'n na lang yung kahalagahan ng food no na malaking apekto niya sa isang tao dahil napaka-basic nga na to. So here's another example po. For example, if there is no rain and potable water no in the Philippines, when we say po potable water, it is a suitable water for us to drink. Yan yung po yung uh, mga may inom po natin. And according to the previous group po, yung nag-report na karaan, they discuss about the potable water which is only 2.5% of the world water. So, napakaliit lang po na bahagi. At yes, may trivia po. Uh, sa buong mundo po, ang percentage ng water is actually 71%. So, that's ano, that's very high. Tapos, ang, na, ang sumunod dun, 29% is uh, lupa na. So, dun sa 71% po na yun na bodies of water, 2.5 lang po dun yung pwedeng mainom ng tao. Meaning to say, kung dun lang tayo aasa, no, hindi hindi po sasapat yung yung resources natin when it comes to water at paano na lang po oh, sir sir ano it is very important because uh i believe joke <laughs> because sir uh, um we all know how uh even with without food we can survive I, I, know, uh, I think we're going to survive without food for three days, but we won't survive uh, in many days without water. So it is much more important than food because uh, uh, it is the source of life of human, not just for human, but for every living thing, sir. Kung baga, hindi lang po sa ating mga tao ang naapektuhan pag walang tubig. Kasi kung tutusin po, kung pagkain lang ang mawawala, kahit yung mga... Ano halaman, hindi naman po yung nakain eh. <laughs> Pero without water, without saving water, uh, ang environment ng humankind at ng iba pang mga living things uh, will surely fail. Yun po sir. And I thank you, sir. <laughs> so let's proceed po. So yes, that's how uh, important water in humankind. So... To discuss the final uh, uh, need, no, in sociological, which is sex, no, uh, as mentioned many times before by Sir and my other group mate. <laughs> uh, I would like to uh, to explain again <laughs> because uh, yes, sex or procreation. When we say procreation or procreate, uh, it is reproducing or reproduction. Meaning, this is yung tinatawag nating pagpaparami. No? And without this, without sex, you and I, si Sir, at tayo pong lahat ng dito ay paniguradong wala sa kinakatayuan natin at humihinga. <laughs> Malamang hindi po tayo haabot sa point na to na napaka-advanced na ng technologies, napaka-advanced at instant na po lahat, pati yung pagbubuntis, instant na din. Uh, masyado na nagmamadali ang tao. <laughs> Ewan ko kung bakit, pero ganun na po ang nangyari. Kung without sex po and procreation, reproducing, hindi po tayo aabot sa puntong to na uh, humankind won't strive up to this point po. So that's how important 
sex to humankind. Or and this all that I have mentioned is part of uh, physiological needs of Maslow's hierarchy. No, and I want to relate it when it comes to our field, hospitality management or understanding guest service, because this all all of this is I know very important and has a big part. No, especially po sa mga hotels, may kita natin yan na ang pangunahing hinahanap ng tao, yung rooms okay ba, yung food okay ba, yung uh, yung water source okay ba, kasi yan po yung pinaka, ano, pinaka kailangan natin in order to feel relaxed, to, ano, to, to survive. At yan po yung pinaka, isa sa pinaka pinagtutuunan ng pansin when, uh, ng mga hospitality businesses, especially nga po ng mga hotel, no? uh, they are offering quality food, beautiful and comfortable room as good as they can. Hanggat kaya po nilang ibigay yung best nila, ginagawa nila yun pagdating po doon sa mga ganong bagay. No? Or even in a low or average budget, they can still give the guest or the customer the best no? that is matched to the price. So yun po yung magandang quality ng isang ano, hospitality uh, uh, businesses or like, like hotels and many more. So that's how important sociological need, no? Katulad nga sinabi ko kanina, part niya yung food, clothing, shelter, na pag, pagdating naman sa mga hotel, yan yung tinatawag nga ting, uh, rooms, yung mga drinks, yung yung bibigay ng service na shelter, yung yung pagkain na ibibigay. Lahat po yan is uh, related sa sa field ng hospitality uh, management. So that's how important sociological needs is. So okay po. Next. Hello. So, the next category is security needs. Security needs is both physical and emotional. So, the second level of Maslow hierarchy of needs is yes, cons- consists of safety or security needs. No, uh, safety or security needs relate to a person need to feel safe. Yung pagiging ano natin, yung pag makaka-feel tayo na safe tayo. At yan po ay hindi lang po nararamdaman natin sa mga jowa natin. <laughs> Joke lang po. Like, eto po, pwede natin kung maramdaman, like having a healthy living, shelter for protection, and secure in their life and surroundings. No? Kung mag-aating lang po natin itong mga bagay na ito, kung tayo ay uh, maayos ang ating kalusugan, medyo okay na doon feel safe na tayo pagdating sa kalusugan natin na hindi tayo mas uh, ganun ka dali tamaan ng sakit. Tulad nga ng ano ng yan ng COVID-19 na ng pandemya na naranasan natin ngayon, ganun din pagdating sa shelter for protection kaya tayo may mga bahay. No, katulad nga po ng sinabi kanina, yung pinagkaiba ng needs and wants, etong shelter ano to eh, needs to eh. Hindi mo kailangan ng magarang <laughs> bahay, kailangan mo lang is shelter because shelter is for protection and to feel safe and secure. So, yun po yung purpose ng shelter. At sabi rin po dito, motivation comes from the need for law, order, and protection from unpredictable and dangerous conditions. So, pagdating naman po dito, uh, yung tao ay para mas ma-feel safe po tayo, tayong mga mamamayan, yan po, dyan po pumapasok yung role ng government or saan tayong bansa kabilang. Kaya meron mga law, may mga batas, no? yung mga Republic-Republic Act, yung mga yon uh, Ginawa nila yan para tayong mga tao, mas ma-feel safe tayo, mas ma-feel secure tayo. Sa ating kapiligiran na hindi tayo mas sa magagalaw, because they are law, uh, merong punishment na nakaatas dyan. Although it is not perfect, no? ang dami pa rin nakakalusot, hindi talaga perfect ang, wala talagang perfect na government. Ang dami pa rin pong nakakalusot at ayun, ang dami pa rin accident and incident that happen. But still, kahit pa paano po malaking tulong to para ma-feel natin yung safe and security. No, but human need and security is not all about physically as I mentioned before. It is both physical and emotional. So if we so when it comes to physically if we have to ano to guard our physically attributes kung kailangan nating alagaan, ingatan, bantayan ang ating physical na pangatawan, ganun din po pagdating sa ating emotional na estado no? when it comes to our heart we need to guard it no even na uh, sa scripture sinabi po yan let not your heart be troubled so ganun po siya kahalaga why because uh, our heart when our heart is weak uh, 
I will just uh, give an example. If a person's heart is weak, and not secured, kumbaga open-open, prone sa accident, uh, uh, prone sa mga pain na pwedeng dumating, it will affect almost everything po. Like physical, mental health, kasi pwedeng ang mangyari. Masyado po nating binabantay, masyado tayong nakafocus sa mga mat- material na bagay sa mga practical or physical na bagay at nakalimutan na natin yung loob or yung emotional natin na part, mababaliwala lang din po lahat. No? Kasi nga, katulad nga po ng mga uh, uso ngayon na depression, yung mga tao na nag-suffer from that depression, hindi, uh, nagpapakamatay sila eh, and they don't die because of the ano, physical pain or dahil sa sakit, sa sobrang pagod. But they do it because oh, hindi na nila kaya yung sakit. Why? Because their heart is weak, it is not guarded, no? Ang ginagard lang nila is more on physical ng physical, yung mental, healthy living ka nga ganto ganyan, maayos ka naman, pero kung sabi ko nga kung hindi rin naka-guard yung puso mo, wala rin. So yun po sa mga single gender partner, I advise po guard your heart. <laughs> and all of this that I discussed, uh, yung safety and security na nabigit ko both po physical and emotional. It's also uh, has a big part when it comes to our field or hospitality management. No, because this need can play an important part to the success and failure in his in hospitality businesses. Why? Because uh, a person can't relax, no, can't enjoy, can't be satisfied sa isang lugar na hindi naman sila feel safe. No, kung mapapansin natin kung meron tayong ka relationship, kung hindi naman tayo komportable sa isang tao, we don't feel safe, no? Minsan, parang feel natin, delikado pa tayo. <laughs> Hindi tayo magiging masaya. So, ganun din po pagdating sa mga hospitality businesses, sa mga hotels, sa mga motels, uh, napakahalaga po na, na mapafeel natin sa mga guests o sa mga customer natin yung safe, no? And security in both physical and emotional. Kaya nga po, maraming mga, ano, mga hospitality environment businesses na they secure their area as long as they can. They add security. And at the same time, they inform it po to the, sa mga guests, sa mga customer. Mahalaga na ma-inform yung mga guests natin na okay naman ang area. Masabi natin na, na okay at wala silang dapat ipag Because in that way, the guests will be relieved you know, and have peace. And so that, in that way, they can focus on just relaxing and enjoying their staycation. And they will also be satisfied. No? And when it comes to emotional naman po, when we offer services, doon po yung pumapasok no, sa mga guests pag nag-offer tayo ng services. And it is also very important. The need of guests when it comes to emotional safety is very important. That's why we must deal and socialize with them. No, yan nga po yung sinasabi kanina na isa sa kailangan. Kailangan natin kausapin, makipag-socialize sa tao. At ganun din po pag nagbibigay tayo ng servisyo sa sa isang tao or lalo na kung yan ay guest or nag uh, ano, sa hotel hindi lang ta- hindi lang natin sila i-accommodate no sa mga bagay na food sa kanilang pangilang kundi pati na rin sa sa pagdating sa part na kailangan nila ng kausap kasi yun nga po may dahilan kung bakit sila ay pumunta diyan sa hotel na yan because they need rest they need peace so it is also our responsibility to give that as much as we can. And also, we must build relationship and trust to the guests, yung tipong makapagtiwala sila sa atin because in that way, they will feel safe. No, We have to understand their needs, have patience, and also give them the best service you can with a smile. Kasi baka mahirap na nagpapanggap lang tayong mag, ano ba, itbaitan, hindi tayo nakangiti, para baka tayo pang maging dahilan ng depression po ng ating mga guests. So, wag naman po sana. So, yun po. That's how uh, important the safety and security of mass loaned hierarchy when it comes to hospitality management. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Mr. Degit. Paiyak na ako. Hinga ka na, Josiah. Palit na daw kayo ni Sir. Palit na nga tayo. Ako na lang estudyante po. Pero natawa ko dun sa comment ng isa. Sabi niya, Bible, ha- Bible yata hawak ni, ano, ni Degit. Hindi <laughs> 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 pa, hindi pa. Yeah. Ayan, so, nag-comment nga ako dun sa, ano, sa live. Sabi sir, ayoko na, sir, tutulog na ako. Na- nakakaiyak, nakakaiyak mag-discuss. Kaya ano. na daw po ni Degit. Oo, parang kaya niya na, no? Si Diyos, iyan na lang daw po. You can do it, Diyos, ayan, tutulog na kami. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. 
Uno na uno na. Okay, so maraming salamat Ms. Degit sa napakamapagpagdamdamin discussion about security needs. Okay, so so wala na ako sasabihin. Nasabi niyo na lahat. <laughs> okay, so next reporter please. Nakukula ko ng tissue. Parang ayoko na magsalita. Kaysa na yan pa kami. So ayun, uh, maraming salamat eh, Josiah. Ayan. So, uh, I will be reporting about belonging. So, from the word belongings, uh, belonging means acceptance as a member or part. Such a simple word for a huge concept. A sense of belonging is a human need. So, from the word itself, belonging, tumutukoy ito sa uh, isa, isang group or... Uh, which uh, let, let's let's say belongingness or yung pagiging part ng isang group so yun po yung belongingness human beings are social animals they prosper and grow when interacting with others this behavior was noticed right from the early caveman who lived together to form tribes so as we can see from this uh uh definition hindi lang po ngayon present na nabuo yang belonging uh, nagsimula yan simula nung nagkaroon ng isip ang tao daw yan. So, sabi nga dyan, this behavior was noticed from the early caveman. Then, hotels and restaurants are great social spots to fulfill these needs. So, hindi lang po, uh, hindi lang po kwarto ang inaano, no? ang, pino, ang pinufulfill ng hotels and restaurants. So, this also, uh, nagbibigay din po to ng, dito nga, uh, events, nagpo-provide sila ng foods, uh, just like na nireport po ni Josiah. And so na yan. they have made socializing into fine art. The popularity of the pubs called the locals. So, ang sinasabi ng pung pubs dito, parang anang galing po sa salitang Britain, which is pubis, uh, building where people meet friends and have drinks. So, ang pubs po, bale, ito po yung more on, di- more on po dito is alcoholic drinks, something's food. Then, pero hindi po sinabi dito na porket magkakaroon ng meeting is magiinuman na. So, bali, in example lang tong pubs wherein um, the perfect place to have gatherings and meetings. Yan. Uh, local people met at these pubs to learn about new developments in their community and the world. This has continued to date when people meet in pubs for business or pleasure. So, katulad nga po nang nasabi ko, this is the perfect place for them na magkaroon po ng gathering. Kung saan, uh, mas magiging komportable po sila. Of course, kahit naman sino ayaw magkaroon ng meeting sa isang magulong lugar, di ba? So, we are looking for the best place and comfortable place kung saan tayo po ay marirelax habang nagkakaroon ng meeting. And... Uh, Local people met in uh, new developments. This has continued to date when people meet in pubs for business or pleasure. Business entertainment has become a part of the relationship building between business stakeholders. The hotels and restaurants have responded well. So of course, hindi lang naman po, uh, hindi lang naman po about sa mga special na tao yung restaurants or sa mga taong may pera, di ba? Or hindi lang naman about sa belonging yung pagkakaroon ng gatherings sa mga taong may kakayahan. So although uh, pati rin po yung hotel sila rin po ay nagkakaroon ng sarili nilang be- uh, belong nagkakaroon din sila ng sarili nilang gatherings were in about their in about their employees and about their employees were nagkakaroon din po sila ng sports events and cafeterias to meet each other. Ah uh, bali ito rin po yung nangyari uh, dito rin pinag-uusapan nila kung paano nila mabibigyan ng tamang assistance and uh, paano nila ma tawag dito. Paano nila mabibigyan ng tamang service yung kanilang clients so in para magkaroon po ng ano um, lum- mas gumanda pa po yung kwalidad ng kanilang uh, company. Yan. So yun lang po yung akin belonging news which is very uh, simple and maikli lang po. Uh, calling for the next reporter Miss Sherry May. Salamat. May self-esteem pa kanino to? <laughs> Actually, ano na po yun, sir? Na, na-report na po siya dun sa, ano, eh, sa may pyramid. Pasok na po siya dun sa pyramid. Okay, so before we proceed, uh, pakibalik nga po dun sa pyramid na 
uh, slide this and so just to ano uh, to summarize yeah. so kung nakapansin niyo okay it's a uh, a maslow's uh, hierarchy of needs okay yes mr colina you're you're saying something Ayan, sorry sir uh, okay so pin uh, nasa pinakamaba ang physiological which um, contains the most of the pyramid. So, siya yung pinakamala pinakamalaking portion. Okay? And then, uh, patas ang patas is palit na palit yung portion niya sa pyramid. Okay? Uh, gusto ko yung sinabi ni sino mo lang discussion si Mr. Degit that in narelate niya yun sa hospitality industry. No? So, physiological needs, uh, shelter, food, Okay? Yan. So, tayo ang um, sa lahat, sa many industries available. Okay? Tayo yung mga may pinakamalaking binibigay or yung portion ng physiological needs, tayo yan. Okay? So, yung, kumbaga parang it's also a, a, a form of security sa inyo that uh, choosing hospitality management Okay, hindi kayo mat mawawala ng trabaho kung depende na lang kung tamad kayong maghanap ng trabaho. Okay? So, gusto ko yung idea ni Mr. Degit that he related the physiological needs to hospitality industry. Okay? And then, uh, the next tier is the safety and security. Okay? Security needs natin. Uh, both physical and emotional. Your belongingness to the society and then status and self-esteem kung ano ba yung sa sarili natin okay what uh, the way we uh, perceive ourselves okay our our personality our our being and the last is the self-actualization tama ba? or may na-discuss na to di ba? the self-actualization so it's it's that's uh, the state of uh, our self na uh, we are the one who controls and contribute to the environment. Any question from the reporters? Baka may mga questions po tayo. Baka may mga questions sa ating mga students. Additional information from the reporters. Baka si Mr. Degit may gusto pang idagdag. Bakit? <laughs> Meron ba? Wala na? Wala na po sir. Waiting na lang sa question ng ano, kaklasi po. Okay, sige. Okay, so before uh, before we answer the questions, if ever meron man, so let's proceed to the next report. Okay, po. okay, good afternoon again. I'm Sherry Escaño and I'm here to discuss with you what CRM is and its importance. But first of all, what is CRM? CRM or Customer Relationship Management is a technology for managing all your company's relationships and interactions with customers and potential customers. CRM the goal is simple, improve management. business relationships. A CRM system helps companies stay connected to customers and improve profitability. CRM system is a software that contains a client's history associated with its profile and other relevant characteristics to more effectively close deals, deliver high quality services, and to grow relationships with clients from first introduction and throughout the entire cost customer life cycle. That in turn creates loyalty that results in increased profits and to the reputation of hotels. A CRM system helps companies stay connected to customers and improve profitability. Many CRM systems integrate email, text messaging, and other forms of communications. Sabi nga po natin kanina, ang goal natin is to improve business relationships. 
So dapat marunong din po muna tayo makipag-interact ng tama at maayos serap ng ating guest or customers para malaman natin kung ano pa po yung mga expectations nila na maaaring idagdag pa natin upang mas mag-improve ang pag-a-assist or pag-manage natin sa hotel or kung saan pang establishment. One and happy customer can create a lot of damage to the reputation of hotels. So we must need to interact with them to provide their needs and to reach their level of expectations na dapat po natin ma-meet. Dahil sa bawat pagkilos, pagtrato at pagsisilbi natin sa kanila ay magiging malaking apekto sa reputasyon ng hotel or ng company. So be responsible and hospitable po all the time. At sa ganon ay magpatuloy pa po silang bumalik sa atin. Okay po? CRM, CRM is achieved through number one, error-free service. When we say error-free service, guests will feel confident in spending their hard-earned money at your property. Value may be a leading factor in getting guests through the door, but gaining their trust by being responsible with their money will make them come back continually in appreciation of your services. And the last one, providing the customers the best customer experience. A proper hotel CRM helps no customer in a much better way by storing preference and history of guests. Repeating, delighting customers is easily and profitable. So, lagi po natin tatandaan na ang hospitality is all about making a guest feel at home. So, thank you guys for listening and let's proceed to our next reporter, Mr. Clark Octavo. Hello guys, uh, gandang hapon. Uh, <laughs> sir, gagising lang. Medyo lasing sir lagi. Medyo, medyo lasing pa daw. Nag-chat ko lang. Inanto. Uh, features of CRM. Uh, saan po ba related ang features of CRM? o tinatawag natin customer relationship sa so number one sa loyalty yeah. customer's loyalty is a measure of a customer likeliness to do repeat business with a company or a brand is result of customer sat- satisfaction positive customer experiences and overall value of the goods quality of service uh, Number two, uh, quality. And CRM data quality refers to how valuable the information you track in CR- CRM. Actually, after going to like, parang magto-trouble, um, i-enter mo yung CRM, yung quality ng data mo na sorry, so, sorry sir na <laughs> ah, yun. so yung data nga na related dito sa CRM ay kailangan eh high value yeah. so ang CRM ang pinaka important aspect is to approach the system or complain the data from the range of different communication channel including company website telephone email live chat marketing materials and more recently like social media yeah. number one earlier customer customer orientation was the marketing department's concern alone So, ano nga po ba yung orientation sa business ng marketing department? Business approach that puts needs to the customer over the needs of the business. Number two, front-end employees see themselves as the product of the service experience. Yan. Ano nga ba ang front-end employees? Frontline employee service professional who work directly with the customers. Uh, like they can work variety of industry, including sales, dining services, marketing, and retail. 
Number three, in CRM, the effort is no, is to know more and more about customer through sophisticated databases that can respond improvement upon the guest exper- experience. And tulad nga nung sinabi ko sa orientation about sa marketing department, frontline employees, uh, related din po siya dyan sa kung paano mo i-manage yung yung CRM bilang isang customer bilang isang cost bilang isang harap sa customer number four CRM also encourage guests to be a part of the service experiences number five CRM has brought convenience to the customer uh, For the next slide, uh, number six, uh, Danny will report using the PG record. Sir, hindi ko lang po, kung, hindi ko lang po alam kung maiintindihan po siya. Pero, try, try po nilang i-play. So before we start, I just want you guys to know what is ISO or International Organization for Standardization. I wait lang po, babasahin ko po pala muna yung number 7. Number 7, many organizations have adopted the ISO 9001 to 2000 certification. So, the organization that would eventually become known as ISO started out in 1926 as the International Federation of the National Standardizing Association or ISA. Layunin po nito na mag-create ng standard in the field of mechanical engineering. It was dissolved during the Second World War. D- during the Second World War. In 1946, Delegates from two, from 25 countries met in London to create a new international standards organization. So, yung name po na ISO is derived from a Greek word which is ISOS po. Ang meaning po nun is yung equal today. I, I, ISO has 
member from 165 countries and over 3,000 technical bodies responsible for de developing standards. Its central secre secretariat is, ba is based in Geneva, Switzerland. So for example po is yung ISO 9001 was oriented to companies in design field. While yung ISO 9003 naman po is catered for a firms in testing and, and in testing and inspections. Yung 190 yung 9002 naman po was appealing for the companies that dealt with production. And additional lang po lahat ay ito daw po ito daw pong ISO 9001 to 2000 ay nagre-revise po depende po sa kung ano po kung anong bansa po yung magpa-practice. So kunwari po there's a certain company somewhere in the Philippines that may be able to do standard procedure from ISO. So yun po siya sir. Eight na, Saira. Yes po, eight na po. Number eight, many organizations have tied up with, bank, with banks, other finance providers to issue credit cards to thereby be loyal customers. In business, tied up means an agreement between two or more companies or organizations to become business partners. Most of the organizations ngayon ay naipag-tied up na sa mga banks and other financial provider. Lalo na sa mga panahon ngayon na uso na yung mga credit cards like Recash, Paymaya. For example, credit card. Throughout credit cards, you can pay or buy food at restaurants, grocery stores, fast food location, and anywhere else that sells food and accept credit card payments. And in this one, of an effective way to ensure that customers can eat without having to carry cash on Example, BDO Diners Club pr Premier. Sometimes, uso naman na yung mga membership card na reloadable para kahit wala kang cash. Basta may load kung tawagin yung card, you, you can steal it kahit wala kang cash to diner for you. Sometimes, you, yung iba nagbibigay pa ng discounts sa na sa mga membership card. Okay? Number nine. Yan. So, number nine. Um, another measure employed by the establishment is to provide a benefit to regular customer such as the, air, the airlines provide the air miles for the frequent traveler. So, kagaya kanina nung sinabi ni uh, Ms. Escaño, ito yung um, pagbibigay ng mga establishment dun sa uh, mga loyal customers nila ng, benefit, ng benefits, kagaya nun yung um, credit cards, yung mga promo, discount, or yung mga sale na ibinibigay nila. So, number 10, um, feedback from customers is very essential to the success of a CRM program. So, it is um, very important to collect the feedbacks of um, the customers or yung mga guests para um, malaman natin kung ano yung mga dapat um, i-upgrade or i-ayos dun sa services natin or sa products natin. And yung mga bagay na dapat nating um, alisin na halimbawa ayaw na mga um, customers or ng guest natin. Number 11 na po. Ang number 11, target marketing is the new buzz buzzword is CRM system. But, huh? Buzz or word of mouth marketing is the best described people talking about you. Earlier, companies used mass marketing to reach customers through mass marketing using newspapers, radio, and popular magazines and para makapanghi makapanghikayat sila ng more possible clients. Naga-advertise naga sila through mass media to put their profile and services that can make cl clients satisfy and persuade them to avail their products and services. They also use emails and SMS, especially promos available. That's all po. Thank you. Yeah.
Yes po sir, kanina po. <laughs> all right, so that's all for the chapter 5, Understanding Guest Service. Okay, so uh, do you have uh, further clarification, additional information from the reporters? No more? Wala naman din ako nakitang question kanina. So, well done to group 5. Mumuntik na ako maiyak sa, ano nyo, sa report ninyo. However, si Mr. Octavo ay ano, inaantok yata. O ganun lang talaga siya magsalita. Natural yun, sir. Natural siya. Hmm. Para siya natin. Natin. Para natutulog lang yata siya. Nakainom. Ganyan ngayon sa club, sir. Ganyan ngayon. <laughs> Sumat kasi yan, sir, bago mag-report. Wala nang okay. magagawa sa boses ko, sir. Eh. Pasensya. Napagod niya, sir, sa baby time. Uh, May energy. Uh, okay lang. Sige, Mr. Octav. Kasi, naiintindihan ko naman. Importante na, na tapos namin, sir, yung class. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so thank you very much again. Well done. Uh, maganda yung uh, overall presentation. However, hindi... Uh, Yung last part ay hindi na 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 ito, na discuss nung last member ninyo which was sino nga ulit yan? Sir Caballero. Cabel Caballero. Apa? Caballero po. Caballero. All right. So Yeah. Okay, so before we end this uh, live, a uh, group uh, group 5 Four uh, in group five na susunod. Okay, so we're going yeah. to we're going to have the group five because uh, I think kaya nilang in discussion in one hour. So again, thank you so much. Gagawa na lang ako ng separate link for the for the next discussion natin. Okay, so again, thank you so much for attending my class, guys. Please uh, uh, don't forget to like this video and. Uh, um, ganito na lang uh, comment CRM sa comment box and then take a screenshot as proof of your attendance on this uh, discussion okay to all students thank you so much and see you later sa setup ko lang yung next video natin for the next reporter of group 5 discussing Sir, chapter 6 pati po ba kami mag screenshot din po hindi na po automatic naman po present kayo. Pero dun sa susunod nating discussion, you have to attend that discussion. Okay? Thank you, sir. Thank, right, you thank you so much again. Congratulations, you, uh, La uh, Lavendia. And to all salamat the group four, thank you so much. Good job. Thank you po. Great. Salamat, salamat, sir. Thank you po. Bye. Bye, sir. Okay, ulit, sir. Gina. Okay guys, I'm waiting for uh, to all the students to uh, take a screenshot nila. and uh, see you later po. I will be sending the next link later. Group 5, please be ready. Thank you.
Thank you.